Hey guys, this is Marie and I'm back with another video and this video is going to be how to make a free hermit crab playground. So let's get started. So in this video, I will be showing you and talking to you step by step how to make a free hermit crab playground. So here we go. So as you guys can see here, the title of the video, I will be making a free hermit crab playground and this is just going to be something fun for you and for your hermit crabs because this is something that they can go into while you are cleaning out their tank or giving them fresh food and water or anything like that. This is usually when I put them in there is when I'm cleaning up their tank and giving them fresh food and water. They don't stay in here no more than 10 minutes or less. So do not keep your hermit crabs in here too long. 10 minutes and less is pretty much fine. It is pretty warm in this room, so usually you can stay in here for about 10 minutes. But other than that, do not keep them in here any longer than the 10 minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you each item that I've gotten, and then we'll go ahead and get started building this playground. So the very first thing, as you guys can see here, is this cardboard box. And of course, this came from Dollar Tree. This was free. Anytime that I need a box, I work at Dollar Tree, so I can just pick up a box anytime I need it, and it's free. So that works out pretty well for me. The next item I have is this little green, light green and dark green plant. And I purchased this a long time ago, probably about a month or two ago on Amazon. And I actually already have two of these inside of my tank now. This is just an extra backup just in case. But of course this is free because it's already been paid for and it was in my hermit crab bin. So I just picked it out for something for them to climb on. So that is the very first thing. The next thing is these little tubes. This is just actually a paper towel tube and I cut it in half and I got two different sizes. I got one little longer one and one little short one and of course that is free. I did not pay for that. The next item is this little coconut hideout and I have gotten this a very long time. I've probably had this for almost a good probably two or three years. I don't use it very often but I keep it just in case and it's something good to have inside of the hermit crab playground for them to hide in if they don't want to be bothered and I absolutely love it and it's very cute and it was of course free because it's been in my care for a very long time. The next item I have is just a shell. I know this shell is humongous. It is very huge. I got this on Amazon a long time ago. I thought I didn't know how big it was until I got it but I thought it would be a nice little decoration to put inside the tank but it's pretty much too huge to put in there um, so I just keep it for decoration or if I need it for something else I have it and this is just something that would be fun to put inside of the tank for them just to climb on or go inside because my hermit crabs are not that big so they can actually pretty much hide inside here if they wanted to so that's pretty cool the last thing I have is a stick, and of course this is free. You can get pretty much sticks out inside of your backyard if you have um, sticks or anything like that inside of your backyard. Pretty much you can get a stick for free. So of course I had this lying around. Um, I had picked this up a while back and I just keep it just in case I need it. And of course I need it when I use the playground. So that is another item. And the last thing you would probably need is, or if you want to use this, you don't have to. But I got this little um, cardboard side, and this is one of the sides that was actually on this box. But I, you know, cut it off, and then I made it like a little door, as you guys can see. So it's pretty much, pretty much easy to do. And so that's what that looks like. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with this in a few seconds. But that is pretty much everything. Like I said, if you have stuff lying around in your house and you already have a lot of hermit crab supplies, this is pretty much what you would use and just get a box and some tubes for free and you'll be good to go to make your little hermit crab playground. So let's go ahead and start building this thing. So we're going to go ahead and move everything out the way. And then I'm going to move my box in the middle. So this is what the box looks like. It's a pretty good sized box. I would say this is probably about a good medium sized box to almost a large and they got plenty of room to walk around and so the very first thing I'm going to do is use this and I'm going to make like a little short um, separation 
So that's what that's going to look like. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to get some duct tape and just duct tape the two sides so it will stay up for the hermit crabs and then it doesn't fall down while they're walking around. So I'm going to go ahead and do so and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back and now I have my separation wall up. So now they have a big side to play around in and then they have a smaller side so they can play around in. So that is what that looks like and it's pretty simple. Um, like I said, all you do is just cut off the side of the box and then this make a, like a little door big enough for them to go through and then you just take two sides a piece of tape and then put it on each side and there you go. So that's pretty simple and easy. Now moving on to the next thing, we'll go ahead and start putting supplies in there for them to play in and climb on and do whatever they want to do. So I'm going to put the stick in here. So we're going to put the stick just like that and have one higher up and one part down. So then they can just climb on it and it's, they can, if they come up here, they still won't be able to get out. They still get plenty of room to stay inside of the box and they won't come out. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm moving on to the next thing. Go ahead and get my coconut hideout. And it's a pretty good size. And we'll put that over here in the corner. And then we have our hermit crab shelf that they can climb on. We'll go ahead and put that over here so they can climb on that if they want to. And then here is the plant. And we'll go ahead and put that over here in the corner. And then they can hide if they want to. So it gives them a little hideaway or a climb on or whatever they would like to do with that. So it'd be pretty cool for them. See if I can set it up a little bit more. Okay, so there we go. And then we have our little tubes. And here's those. Like I said, you can use um, these as um, a paper towel roll or you can actually get a toilet tissue roll and use it that way if you want to. So we're going to go ahead and put one over here and then we'll put one over here. So we'll have two. So that is what that looks like. So they can go inside and then um, I know these are not very big but my hermit crabs are very small so they'll be able to get in and get out of this size hole. So if you have bigger hermit crabs I probably won't be, you probably won't be able to use these because it'll probably be too small for your hermit crab. It depends on what size hermit crab you got. But my hermit crabs are about small to a medium, so this will work out okay for them. But that is pretty much everything. Pretty simple and easy, and it's something fun for your hermit crabs. And so we'll just go ahead and show you the view of what it looks like. All right guys, let's go ahead and get my hermit crab and I'll go ahead and put it in there. All right guys, I am back and I got my hermit crab. This is the only hermit crab right now that is up. And this is Coconut and he is a Ecuadorian hermit crab and he's a male. And he is living in a natural shell and the shell is actually too small for him. So he definitely needs to change it, but he's a little stubborn and doesn't want to. But he's pretty much very active, so we're going to go ahead and pick him up and put him in there. He'll have probably the most fun to go in here. So we'll go ahead and put him in there, and then we'll see what he does. So there he is. Might give him a minute to roam around, but we'll see where he goes. Maybe he'll go through the little door. That'd be pretty cool. Eh, maybe not. Let's see where he went. Oh, he's over here in the corner. But it's a pretty much good size for about five to six hermit crabs. It depends on, I guess, how big your hermit crabs are. But I absolutely love it, and it's just something fun for your hermit crabs just to have fun in while you're cleaning their tanks so they just don't get bored walking into like a plain box or a container or something like that whatever you guys put them in but that is pretty much it so we'll see where he went again oh, he's stuck in the corner let me grab him real quick see if i can move him somewhere else okay there we go all right so there is coconut again 
We'll see where he goes. Nope, he actually went through the door and I kind of missed it, but I got part of it. There he goes walking around. And it's just something fun for them to keep them moving around and not get so bored while they're out of their own tank. But he's just roaming around, checking everything out. He's going to check out the hermit crab shell. See if he goes inside. That'd be pretty cool. Yep, he's about to climb it. And there he goes. A little hideaway for him. But that is pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. And definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!